So no one's really used their time to do this yet, but I'm, I'm a very proud member of the collective. I joined Barrett at the very beginning. Uh, Pete convinced me in, a, in a, his first conversation. And I wanted to give thanks to uh, Pete and Josh for all their effort in putting this together. Well, they work tirelessly behind the scenes. Sometimes we have these meetings with only a handful of people show up. A lot of effort goes into this. So I, I don't want to explain this more. So I'm from Digital Town, and we run Austin.City. Um, we're publicly held, which is kind of neat for a blockchain-based solution. Um, and like some of the other companies that have been up here, we're actually a blockchain-based solution. Um, we're doing a lot of things, I mean, so much. I cannot explain it all in five minutes. So I think it'll definitely be less than five minutes. So one thing I would observe is cities ignore sort of their digital footprint in the world. Like Austin City, we own Austin City. You would think Austin would do that. And so we created a solution that serves the community where people can join as members and we give them tokens as they join and it's branded in the name of the city. Now why do we do this? It's really to help people fight the extraction economy. I mean, what people don't realize is that last year, and I, sh I shared this at um, South by last year, we e-commerce broke 10%. So it took 18 years to get over 10%. It's kind of a remarkable thing. Some people say, oh, 10%, it's not that big of a deal. It took 18 years, 10% is a big deal. If you know how it feels now, that's only 10%. What's 20 gonna feel like? So after South By, I was talking to Gartner, a research company. One of the analysts said, um, in fact, in some markets, it's already over 10, it's already over 20%. And the remarkable thing they found is when it passes 20%, that market no longer exists in the local community. That's bad, that's a bad thing. And we wanna help people fight that. Another thing people don't realize are all these online services we use are taking pretty hefty commissions. Like when you book a hotel room, I was surprised to learn that they take, the booking agency takes 30 to 40% in that booking fee. That's remarkable. And in some cases, they're making more money than the hotel and the booking. It's similar with restaurants. If you order something online from a business that's selling their things online through uh, <clears throat> uh, Amazon, as an example, they can take 25 to 50% of that online purchase. Um, so often they're making more profit than the businesses itself. So the businesses do this because they need a viable, re ac viable access to the market, and they really can't compete when it's on Google. I mean, you, you, you don't know this. I worked on a project called Google Earth. It wasn't called Google Earth when I worked on it, but right now we all use this. In an instant, you can find a business. Just do a search, boom, there's the location. <coughs> if you go inside and you pull something off that business's shelf, you're not gonna find it. If you search for that item, you're gonna find Amazon or some company in China. So we're trying to come up, we've come up with a solution actually. We're launching it here now, it's available today. We're covering four market segments, hotel, lodging, so you can go to our system, book a hotel room here in Austin, or pretty much anywhere in the world, but we're focusing on Central Texas today. You can actually go find a restaurant. You can search on Austin. How can I, where are our fish tacos? And we show you on a map. Boom, here's all the places on fish tacos. And come next week, you'll be able to order that fish taco on our system. Most, most in interesting to me are retail. So you can actually search for a retailer place, and also come next week, we're gonna allow that retailer to upload all their inventory, and using our local search, you'll find a local inventory item. Unlike the Google, you'll find Amazon in our system, I'll show you the local stores that have that. You can actually go there and get it. And it breaks the old paradigm. You know, this whole thing that we're kind of captured by Google and these winner-take-all companies, where now local communities can take over. And I mentioned at the beginning, when people sign up, they get tokens in the system, so they can participate in the success of the system. Um, it's controlled, in the center of this thing is a digital wallet, so we allow free exchange of currency, which supports 16 currencies, fiat currencies, and Bitcoin. So stores can take Bitcoin instantly just by signing up, it's free. So I ask you all to join the movement. I've got a couple of community leaders here, John and Deb, proud to have them. <laughs> and I got some of my team back here, Jenna, Matthew, Saheb, and James, always happy to help you guys. So thank you very much.